When we had been asked by Hans Ulrich and Klaus Biesenbach um, to design the stage for the 14 rooms, we were fascinated especially by the idea that it is a temporary structure, which is a non-permanent installation. Um, because normally our buildings have to be the opposite, they have to stay for a long time uh, at the place and be rooted at, the, at the given, um, in a given city based on a given program. So, because we like to also train ourselves and our thinking in different possibilities to do architecture and to use architecture for different purposes, uh, this was a unique opportunity for us to do something very different from the usual. Um, also, it was interesting to do it uh, in a hall in a, in a, in a, at the fair, because in that same fair hall, we've done an um, exhibition hall, we've done a, an installation, a non permanent installation, um, more than 10 years ago for the Music Month in Basel, European Music Month. Um, which was an um, initiative, um, cultural initiative, so we did a non-permanent uh, um, concert hall. So it was like continuing on that kind of, kind of uh, no idea of non-permanent installation for cultural events. Um, the concrete um, background for the 14 rooms is something we didn't know, we ha haven't known the project. Uh, that was uh, in the past years was in Manchester and in other cities um, where different pavilions were grouped almost in a, in a free arrangement with a lot of space moving for people moving around. So we found it interesting to do the opposite of that also, so to arrange everything in a more concrete way and which was um, based on an idea of a central plaza or a central street almost um, a street typology or a small city typology that you could find in China or in South America, in Asia, in Europe, a bit everywhere. Like, um, like um, those cities which are featured in uh, paintings like uh, we know from De Chirico, which is almost a standard urban type. Um, that is not bound to a concrete city like Basel, for instance. And behind the doors of these different rooms, one would then find highly specific interventions. So to juxtapose the non-specific with the specific, the non-specific being the public space where people could come together and meet and hang around before they would then go to the different places. Um, we also wanted to make that room, that public room, interesting in that, more interesting in that we would um, project it almost infinitely in the future, into the future, because the idea of the rooms, the 14 rooms, is that it would not be just 14 rooms always, but maybe next year, in the year 2015, it would be 15 rooms and then 16 and maybe in the year 2100 could be 100 rooms. So it would really give this idea of time line of, of uh, projection into the future. That's why we believe that the mirror made, made a lot of sense. Also the mirror was, we found the mirror interesting also for the doors, where the doors would become something immaterial in that the mirror surface would not be concrete material, but you would be faced with yourself before you enter the room. Whereas the doorknob, the door handle, um, should be very, very physical, almost have a, a kind of a tactile uh, surface with this very rough uh, wooden surface. We designed them to be, to feel really very strongly like something different, something concrete, a material, as opposed to the mirror and the white paint of the walls inside. So we played this idea of the very strong contrasts which would be very neutral, so all the attention would be given and left for the artist. But those which are not neutral, like the doorknob, would so somehow um, make you feel or perceive your own, your own identity or your own personality or your own body, at least. Um, another thing that we found interesting is that this is like a little city, a little stage, 
and the real city would flow nearby so you would people could just walk uh, nearby without paying a ticket so it would become a real city in the city and and a theater in the city and um, that was very successful during the fair because it had a, it had a lot of people that would just go for a drink because there was a bar and cafe outside the main stage so to even that small project to to make it into something public something for the city at large was um, also a very important um, part of uh, what we believed would be uh, making it a successful intervention. We have done um, and still are working on quite a few museum projects um, in different cities and also there we try to give a lot of um, attention to the fact that galleries should uh, you know enhance the pleasure of perceiving art not you know in a moralistic way but in a way that all the attention should be left for art and the spaces should be done so art looks really good, you know, which means, which isn't a, a recipe that could be repeated all over. But um, it can be achieved with different light conditions, with different material surfaces. It doesn't need to be just a white cube kind of a gallery. Um, so clearly our museum experience has been helping, helpful before we, we um, developed the concept for the 14 rooms. But in contrast to other museum designs we've done, you could see the 14 rooms also as a kind of a temporary museum. In that case, the galleries, which are the five by five meters little boxes, were given by the curators and we were not involved. We were just involved in that gallery, in that kind of stage before you enter the different spaces.